So Overwatch's 36 hero Ramatra was finally announced yesterday during the Overwatch League. He is an Omnic War Machine and the leader of the Null Sector who wishes to seek a better future for all Omnics. Due to the nature of Omnics being finite, when one dies you cannot make more. So for this reason, Ramatra seeks to prevent this from ever happening and preserve the Omnics. What's also interesting is that for any of you Overwatch 1 players, Ramatra was actually seen in the Storm Rising ending cinematic cutscene. Check it out here. My friend, the world doesn't understand visionaries like us. I respect what you are trying to accomplish. You fight for your kind. It's noble and doomed to fail. But with Talon's help, that can change. You have my attention. What I'm wondering is if this is another reason why they switched Doomfist to the tank role, as this sets up perfectly for the release of Ramatra. This is entirely just a theory, but I couldn't find any information that says otherwise. If you guys have any better theories on this, please leave it in the comment section below, but let's get into more Ramatra. Blizzard describes his story as complex and multifaceted, and his goal is to protect his people, but the cost of that goal is still to be determined. To be honest, right now he's giving off Aaron Yeager vibes for me for any of you AOT fans who understand. It appears that he does want peace but will use violence to achieve that if necessary to ensure the survival of his own race. Everyone else comes second to his own. To continue with, originally a war machine, Ramatra shed his munitions for a shield to protect his people by promoting peace and tranquility. His ideals weren't far from his fellow Shambhali monk, Zenyatta. However, Ramatra's story is one of hardships, trauma, and magnified view of humanity's harsh realities, which again kind of reinforcing this idea that he isn't necessarily the bad guy. He's been exposed to the harsh reality of the world and has grown to understand what a cruel place it can really be, and how his people won't ever be looked at as equals. Also, when they mention that he shed his munitions for a shield, it makes me think that we're going to be receiving another shield tank, especially since we already know that he is in the tank role. I'm assuming from this image right here that he will also use his staff for his offensive presence, but I'm sure we'll find out more about his abilities in the weeks to come. It closed by saying harmony was replaced with dissonance. Ramatra began to approach his convictions from a more pragmatic angle justifying any means necessary to defend his fellow Omnics. As a leader of the Knoll Sector, Ramatra boasts incredible support for his people, and he is primed to impose his philosophies on our world. Ramatra will join the tank lineup at the beginning of Season 2 starting on December 6th. Honestly, I can't wait to find out what this man can do. Even though I'm currently a DPS player, from just his lore alone, he makes me want to learn tank. But what do you think about Ramatra so far? If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video, and if you want to see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button, and we'll see you in the next video.